Philip Bowman has been CEO of Smith's Group since 2007 and joins us now. Thank you very much indeed. We'll take a look at your results in, in just a few minutes. But can I just ask you about when you see the, the, the events unfolding, notably in Europe, but of course mm -hmm. you do half your business in the United States where unemployment is high and the economy is not doing well. When you look about the general plane, how does that make you feel? I think if you look back at last fiscal year, it was a year very much of two halves. The first half was quite strong as we saw economic growth. As we went into the second half, it slowed down appreciably. About 40% of our revenues come from sales to governments, either directly or indirectly. And clearly what we're seeing in terms of government austerity, government financing problems is an issue. Uh, also, of course, managing businesses like this with large cross-border exposures uh, with varying currencies is very difficult. But I think what we've said in the outlook statement is we think we're going to see continuation of very difficult trends, and that will particularly impact the businesses which have high government uh, content. And what sort of things are that? That is in the detection and also what the medical equipment side of things. I think the medical equipment side, I mean, what we're seeing in uh, the U.S., also in parts of Europe, is not only reduction in capital investment because funds are tight, but also a significant significant reduction in the number of medical procedures and that affects consumables. The other business that affects is Smith's Interconnect where we have about 40% of our revenues go into the military. And how are you dealing with that? Are you do, going through a major cost cutting process in, in those particular areas and reducing some of those targets? I think what we've been doing is over the last three years investing more in new products. So we've got a good pipeline of new products. I think that's important. What we've also been doing is investing to try and grow our presence and the share of our revenues that come from faster growing markets. Uh, uh, yes, we're looking at costs. We've been looking at them constantly for the last three years. It's an ongoing battle. Uh, we've driven a lot of operational efficiency improvements, but there's still more to come. And faster growing markets where exactly? Where are you looking at? Towards Asia or are you looking more across the pond in the United States? Uh, I think if you look at, for example, the John Crane business, which sells a lot to the oil, gas, petrochemical sector, uh, the second half of last year was strong in Asia. It was strong in the Middle East. It was strong in Latin America. And again, in terms of medical, uh, we've recently uh, strengthened our sales team in India. We're doing the same in China, in uh, India for detection. We've bought our agent there. Uh, so, you know, progressively, those sorts of markets we're focusing on and investing more in. And you're taking, as you put it back in June, I think, a more active approach to acquisitions and disposals. Mm -hmm. Now, where exactly are you looking for? Is that the way future for Smith's Group to, to expand rather than organic growth, looking to make acquisitions around the world? I think it's me. I mean, I think we are investing organically. We've increased our investment in new product development, sales and marketing. But we are also making acquisitions in the last few months. We've announced one disposal, the product inspection business for detection. But we've announced two acquisitions, one of a business for uh, power conditioning for Interconnect and one to expand our John Crane business in bearings. So what we're looking for is more exposure to developing markets, more technology. And where we have got infrastructure around the world, how can we leverage that more effectively? And what about Smiths itself? When might we see you sell off part of this conglomerate? I think a lot of things I've said uh, over the past is that over time a more focused approach to the company would be of benefit. And focus where? Um, I think we've, we've not been particularly specific. I mean, we've said clearly uh, John Crane is a key part of our business. Uh, there's been speculation before about medical. Uh, there was an approach earlier this year. We did, we did not take that forward. Uh, as we go forward, though, I think very much we're looking to try and simplify the business. Uh, and that means acquisitions as well as divestments. Okay, Philip Bowman, we have to leave it there. CEO of Smith Group, I'm grateful to you. Thank you very much indeed.